I decided to buy a house in Bukit Tuntung, but we need to move in before the wedding in November. So when she's away on shoot, I meet up with Ivan to get things going. I'm just going to run through very briefly with you. Coming through the front door, you know, you've got um, um, a little foyer. We have a sketch idea of how it could become once you walked in, oh, right? Okay. You've got a bit of wallpaper and a backdrop. Uh, maybe we've got a little iconic, uh, but yet still contemporary looking Chinese chair in the front. Yep. And then this uh, shoe cabinet is just stuck at the, uh, at the side. Mm -hmm. This okay. is elevated, is it? This is elevated. Yep. So it looks uh, kind of a bit lighter rather than something too heavy on it. Now the next space I'm going to move on to uh, very quickly is the living and the uh, dining area. So, uh, the final thing here is that we're showing you, uh, you know, the brick wall right end. I thought that's something uh, yeah, yeah, you, you kind of like. like yep. Yeah. Yeah. And obviously that door over there could be something quite funky that leads into your uh, work area. We've got a lot of things going on here and things a little bit more raw. Yeah, we've got a lot more colours coming on in here. Uh, mm -hmm. It's a double volume space, a lot of natural light coming from the top and maybe a little bit more of the wallpaper just to set the background. Having different themes in the house sounds funky but we got to be careful not to overdo it. You know, otherwise it'd be like a theme park. Okay, sounds good. Now I'm bloody hungry here. Are yeah, you? Me too, man. Okay, let's go grab something to eat. Okay. I know a place right around the corner. Okay, Shall cool. we? Let's go. Right, let's go. Hey, Yuri. Hey, Aaron. How are you, man? I'm good. How are you? Yeah, good. Hi, Aaron. Ivan. 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 Yeah, have a seat. Yeah, thanks. I should be able to have a seat. This is my place. Oh. <laughs> Ivan and I have lunch with uh, Haris Iskandar at his new restaurant, Samsara in Desa Sri Hatamas. Haris is a friend of Zandria's and he just got married. How is she doing anyway? Uh, she's very busy, you know, doing her productions now. That's why she's not here. It's out on the shoot. Okay. Yeah, so I took the opportunity to see Ivan for designs. Okay. Mm -hmm. So how's it going with you guys? Because I actually knew Zandria like a long time already. Right. And, you know, okay. we dated many times. <laughs> oh, okay. But I was, I was happy I didn't know that. Yeah, I was happy <laughs> Always the comedian, Arif. Just kidding, right? Yes. <laughs> it's, a, it's a different step, a different change. How long have you been married? I've been married for just over a year. Oh, okay. Yeah, new as well. Pretty new as well. Yeah. So you're giving him uh, good news or bad news about being married? Well, I gave him advice, but he's still getting married. Well, <laughs> no, guys are just kidding. Marriage actually brings our relationship to the next level. And ours right now is all about the house. But in a way, at the end of the day, I'm just looking forward to this next step of life, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You will know what I mean. <laughs> you're ahead of me. Anyway, I'm gonna go off now. You guys need anything? Just let me know we're over there. Sure. Okay. All right. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Good to see you. you. Yeah. Say hi to Zandria. Yeah? Sure. Okay. Cheers. Bye. So today, we finally went to check on the house renovations, or I finally went to check on the house renovations. Yuri has been there before, but it's my first time. And frankly, you know, I'm really surprised at how fast everything went. You know, the, the wall's almost up, you know, where the living room wall with the windows almost done. Actually, we wanted to do like a, a side of our wall, right? Just breaks and just leave it, you know? I think it's not suitable because your, your existing uh, finishing all will be plastering. So if you do redraw, it won't, won't be matching actually. Yeah, your contractor's got to be a bit like your, your mechanic or your doctor. It's got to be someone you can trust. And it's really hard to find someone like that, you know. And David is someone like that. We trust him. So it's, it's really, really good. So we had this huge dilemma of whether we should knock round the wall of the spare room to make the kitchen bigger. So finally, after much debate and a consultation with the feng shui master and our friend Sunny San, we decided, you know what, just knock it down, you know, for a bigger kitchen, good feng shui and everything. And guess what? We found a pillar right in the middle. The column. The dreaded pillar. Oh my <laughs> god, it's so ugly. This is the column we're talking about. So actually, we need to ask our, our, our Ivan to do something about this column. I mean, it's not ugly, like, it's just there to hold up the house, you know. But then, um, I think it's just a matter of figuring out how to work around the pillar, you know. Now that it's there and we can't knock it down, so we knock it down the next 
floor. Just... So I think what we're going to do is like we're going to have a kitchen design where the island will kind of wrap around the pillar and then maybe we'll put some lights on top, you know, so it looks like part of the house design. So hopefully no one will notice the ugly pillar when they walk into the house. This is the area for your sliding door actually. Nice! Mm -hmm. So future, I like. your sliding door will be pushing to this way. I really like this brick concept, you know. Without plastering. Yeah, I really like it. I really like it. Like, do you think it's possible? Because our door is quite industrial looking anyway, you know? So, is it okay if we leave it just like that? Or maybe you just pretty up a bit like, like all these things chatting out, you know? You think it's practical or not? And the contractors like, David's like, you should have told me this earlier. Because I think the bricks are a bit on the rough side, you know, they're meant for the inside wall, not for an outside wall, right? So they don't look so good for something you just want to leave like that. It's a bit too industrial. Now you are too late to, to have the bare finish, actually. Oh. Mm -hmm. Too late? Uh? Too late, actually, too late. Really? So as of now, I think we'll just have to cement it or paint it or do something creative with it. So it's up to you. So your first washing machine will be here. The second one will be here, side by side, okay? No, you mean two washing machines inside here? Yes. I think cannot fit, you know. Can, can, can. Um, we check the dimensions. Oh, is it? We check. Just so nice, Just la, nice. Probably. Exactly what I sketched here on the wall. Yeah, and David's got this habit of like uh, taking a pencil or even his car key, right? To draw on the wall. So whenever you're not sure about something, he's like, okay, here, we're going to do this. And then he starts taking out his keys and he just draws this thing on the wall and you can just see what he has in mind. Hey, where's my WC, huh? Okay, your WC, I think the latest changes is from the past. Actually, the original WC is here. Yeah, yeah it so was here, right? It was you here. took it out already. We took it out and we intend to put the other side. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Ah, put where? Right now. Uh, like facing this facing, way. facing our... Uh, this mirror. Facing the then what about the window? And I think it's a good idea to seal the window up, you know, for... Privacy. Yeah. Yuri and I have to decide what to put into our kitchen and what items to put into our laundry room. So we decide, you know what, we have to get this sorted out. So we're heading to the Electrolux showroom in Solari Sutamas and my mom is coming along to give us advice because we both know nothing much about kitchen and laundry appliances. Oh, dishwasher. Dishwasher? I, I, I don't really? think we really need I don't think dishwasher. we need a dishwasher, yeah. right? I mean, because we, we've huh? been doing without it for... ever. How much washing you do? Have you seen how much washing we do after <laughs> cooking a meal? Getting a dishwasher is probably a good idea because I don't like washing dishes. Me neither. Uh, we have the latest built-in oven from Electrolux. Mm -hmm. This is what we call uh, Inspiro. Inspiro built-in oven is an intelligent oven and it comes with 13 cook programs with 300 pre-built-in recipes. So, why am I... Oh, sorry, did you say 300 pre-built-in recipes? Yes, basically 300. Teach you how to cook the thing. Yeah, yeah, basically, you just need to prepare the ingredients, go in, let the machine do everything for you. Oh. I think it's perfect. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, because, because exactly. I, 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 I don't really cook right, right now, so I don't know like how many degrees to roast the chicken and how yeah. long. I'm, sure. I'm afraid I might burn something. You know? 300 over recipes, it's almost like having a personal chef. Press it on. There you go. Ah. It comes with a well, there's a light. floor light, yes, for easy visibility. So you can you can vacuum in the dark. Yes. You can see every every little. <laughs> wow, it's very yeah. easy to maneuver, darling. Try. Yeah. Yeah. And it's something that you don't even have to keep. Huh? you can just leave it outside. Exactly. It's so nice, right? Exactly. Wow. Yeah. That's the thing. That's oh, the beauty of this thing. Car. Yes, so, exactly. Yeah. Two in one. Or two in no. one. Yeah. And it is and a canister <laughs> system, so you know if you think about. Getting a bag replacement all the time. Yeah, vacuum. Vacuum, you really like it. It's really awesome. Word. <laughs> we got quite an education, you know. We saw a lot of different things and we were informed of a lot of things. Uh, Marcus, salesperson over there, was very, very helpful and knowledgeable about the stuff. These are our existing range of dryers. Ah. Uh, for dryer center, there's two uh, categories of dryer at this moment. One is the traditional venting dryer, yes. uh, which you requires to attach a vented hose either at the back or by the side. Yeah, and the latest one is actually what we call the condensing dryer. Yeah, it looks different because it's you can't open, you can't see. It's I'm just wondering, right, actually, is whether we need a dryer at all. Yeah, no? we do. I mean, I. All, I've managed without a dryer all this while. It's a hot country, you know. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's not so hard to hang up the clothing. You know, like, I mean, we have the back of the house to hang our clothes, you know, and stuff like that. 
Yeah, but the back of the house, like, I already made a plan, you know, to put the dryer and the washing machine together. We also have a plan where a space where you can hang our clothes, you know, that space there we can. Yeah, bar but and but but those are to hang clothes, you know, that they are you can't put into the dryer, you know, so you can just hang those delicate, you know. But the majority of the stuff we can put into the dryer. Oh, you can hang them. Yeah, you can hang them. I have a lot of clothes. I'm not going to hang all of them. Okay. Okay. A dryer is at the top of my priority list. I cannot live without a dryer. I won't budge on this one. Will a difference in opinion make things more difficult? Tune in next week to follow Zandria and Yuri on their shopping expeditions and find out what happens when work gets in the way. Right here on Going Home with Zandria and Yuri.